the camera at a weird angle? I feel like it is, but it's okay. Right here. what's up welcome to a brand new video hi my name is Vietnamese and in case you're new here welcome to my channel where I talk about plants please subscribe first of all I want to show you guys the plant that I'm currently struggling with and let me get it this right here is my easy plant and I've been struggling with this plant lately you guys I have a hard time caring for easy to care for plants which are usually snake plants and ZZ plants. Those are my easiest to care for plants that don't need very much watering. She's been having yellowing leaves. I think this is due to over watering. I've had this plant for a year, exactly a year already. I neglect this plant so much and she loves that. She doesn't like too much attention, too much watering. But all of a sudden she had lost the whole stem. All the leaves got really yellow and she lost that stem. So I kind of freaked out and I was like, oh my gosh. So I took her out of the terracotta she was in and I put her into this pot. And I'm like, maybe she's been, I thought she was maybe being underwatered. I really don't know. I think she was because her roots weren't rotted or anything like that. So I put her into this new pot and I put water in it. So now I think I overwatered her and now a bunch of her leaves are just starting to yellow. But this is the plant that's currently stressing me out. So I've been getting a lot of plants since my last video and I wanted to show you some of my new plants. These are plants that I just got over three months. So I'll be showing you guys what I got. Okay, so this is one of my newest plants. Ooh, it needs water too, so I need to water her. Ooh, she's got a lot of little flies. I need to get those fungus gnat stickers for my plants because this one, they get a lot of little flies, a little fungus gnat, so you guys see little flies flying around it's not you know it's the plant <laughs> it's not me this plant right here is my new fiddly fig i got it from trader joe's and i got it for six bucks that's not bad at all she's been doing good so far so fit the fiddly fig is such a classic plant in my opinion i have been holding back on getting one because i do hear that they're really really finicky because i hear they don't like to be moved around a lot and i move my plants around a lot so I'm gonna try not to move her around and I did do some research before I got her and yes I read that she's really finicky she loses leaves and when I got her she, she came with these uh, brown spots I don't know if you guys can see that but she's got little brown spots and she's got brown spots behind her leaves too so that's how she came that's not me yet okay so she doesn't like to be overwatered, underwatered. I got her I want to say two months ago and I haven't had any new growth, which is fine. And I did have to repot her because when I got her, she was super root bound. So I did repot her into this terracotta pot. And I don't know, I feel like the pot looks so much bigger, but she had so many roots. Okay, let's move on to the next plant. My next plant is this Riffidophora tetrasperma. You guys, this was an amazing find. I got this plant from my local grocery outlet which is an inexpensive like health food store they also have plants there sometimes and i found this one and when i found it it was really small it was like it only had these leaves right here and i didn't know what it was because it didn't have any um these are all new leaves all the leaves with the fenestrations they're all new so when i got it it didn't have all these leaves it was just like this so i was just like what kind of plant is this and then I, I saw the tag and it said Fidophora tetrasperma. So I'm like, what? Six dollars? I couldn't believe it. I've been wanting this plant for my local nursery and they sell this plant for like $20. Yeah, I'm glad I found it for six dollars and it has given me so much new growth. And I got this plant a month ago exactly. It's one thing that I saw on TikTok, cleaning your plants with neem oil. So what I did was I, I did neem oil, water, and soap. And then I started cleaning a lot of my foliage with that. And I think this plant didn't like it because it really damaged her leaves. As you can see, it's like, you can see like the stains there. And then if you turn it around, you can see them right here. And a lot of its leaves are like that. So I'm going to stop doing that unless they have like little pests or something. But yeah, even this leaf, you can see it right here. You see that? That's staining that's from the neem oil and 
or maybe I just used too much neem oil and not enough water. I don't know, but I won't be doing that anymore. Ooh. So my next newest plant, oh my gosh, this plant matches me. Oh, so my next newest plant, I just dropped her right now. I was grabbing her and I dropped her and a lot of her, um, a lot of her soil came out, but she's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is my one of my other newest plants. This is a uh, ficus audrey. Okay, so this is a ficus audrey, and she's so cute. I'm so glad I got her. She comes from the ficus elastica family, I believe, and she's so pretty, and she's giving me new growth. I feel like all the ficuses I have are really slow growers. Which is fine. I don't mind. As long as they're still alive and looking beautiful. But yeah, this one I got at Trader Joe's for $6, you guys. And I got her. And she was also super root bound. I got her in a 4-inch pot. And this is like a 5-inch pot. I put her in here. And she's been so happy. Look at this baby leaf. I can't get over how cute this is. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love this plant. So I'm just in love with this plant. And I think she looks so pretty in this pot. I got this pot from Ace Hardware. She's a super easy to care for plant. Really easy. I just neglect her and I water her whenever she needs water. She's so pretty. Oh. All right. So now let's move on to the next plant. This is a, begon a Rex begonia, I believe. I feel like this is a fancy begonia. I don't know. But my mother-in-law was visiting and we went to the farmer's market. She got it for me. This thing was like $20. I thought I wouldn't keep this. I wouldn't be able to keep this plant alive. She only had three leaves at the time. And now she's growing so, like, she's grown like three more new leaves since I got her. And she's so fuzzy too. Look at her. I love begonias now. I think I want to get more begonias. I didn't know I could grow begonias. I thought she needed a lot of humidity. But no, she's doing really good. And then right now... It's been getting cold, so right now we have the heater on a lot. So it's been pretty dry in here. But yeah, these, this plant's been thriving. I've been so happy I've been keeping her alive. This is a Pearls and Jade Pothos. I love pothos. Pothos are probably one of my favorite plants, if not my favorite plants, pothos. I love the way they grow. I love the way they trail down. I love that they give my house jungle vibes. I've been wanting one of these, and I haven't seen any. And finally, I went to Safeway and I saw it for $6. And then it came with this cute little pot right here. Look at these little legs it has. This pot in particular gives this plant so much personality. And then when it grows down, she's going to have long hair. It's so cute. When I got her, I repotted her back into the same pot. I just had to change her soil because she had a bunch of little worms inside. And it was like really webby. It was gross. I waited a whole week before I repotted her and let her just acclimate to the environment in my home. And she's doing fantastic. In fact, she's giving me this new growth. Or I don't know. I feel like it was already there. I don't know. This is a Pothos Enjoy and I got her for my birthday. So I've had this plant for, uh, what is it? When was my birthday? I don't know. I had I have had this plant for two weeks already, I believe. Yeah. I waited a whole week to let her acclimate. And I just changed her soil too. She wasn't like a, a peat moss sort of soil. So I just don't like it because then the peat moss, when it dries out, it just really hardens and it's hard for water to get through. So I completely changed her soil. And I put her in the same pot she came in. So I got this one for $22. She still has a price right here. And I got her from, I got her from my local nursery. It's called Bear Valley Nursery and it's here in Oregon. So if you guys are ever here in Oregon, check it out. It's, it's the cutest nursery ever. She's my birthday plant, so she's special. My birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, that's when I will get plants that are a bit more pricier and bigger. This is a Pearls and Jade and this is Enjoy. I don't really see that much of a difference. I feel like this, these leaves are more like, it, it, it looks like someone just got like paint and like did like some brush strokes on it. And then with this one, it just looks more like brush strokes plus a lot of speckling, like brush strokes and then they like threw the paint on it. That's how it feels like they are. And this one too feels like it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're very, very alike. But yeah, this one just looks more speckled. And this one's, 
this one also looks more shiny they're very similar looking but they are different according to according to the laws of plants all right you guys uh oh my light turned off what happened hold on let me turn it off i'm just grabbing my all my plants that really really need some watering and i'm also grabbing all my spider little baby spider plants and i'm just grabbing my european trailing peperomia as well as my hartley philodendron my peperomia hope and they need watering so bad so i'm just i get so excited to water my plants and one thing i have noticed about having them in terracotta pots sorry pets pots is that they need watering way more often and i water these plants like once a week i've been watering them so far once a week and then fall is here and i'm still watering them excuse me still watering them once a week i'm checking up on my ficus audrey but she seems like she still has water so she doesn't need any water and this is my i don't know what this plant is called i don't even know if i had it in my plant tour video she might have been in my other plant my husband's office so this plant i got for my two-year wedding anniversary i just bought i like to buy plants when there's like an anniversary or anything but at the time we didn't have much money so i just got this one and th this plant is just it's just to remind me that it just i just look at this plant and i remember like oh i got this one two year wedding anniversary and i got it from trader joe's and i got it for like maybe like five dollars i don't remember but it just reminds me of that moment that's what i that's what i like about plants too i remember exactly when i got them what was going on that day why i got it and what was going on through my mind and all my plants just have that's why they have that sentimental value to me because i just really remember all these things that come with the plant they just bring back so many memories and every time i get a plant i get so happy so every time i look at them i just you know i'm reminded of these happy memories and these happy feelings and they all come back to me that's one of the reasons why i love plants so much and why it can be really addicting to buying so many new plants which is a good thing and is a bad thing <laughs> but i truly truly enjoy it when like it just doesn't hurt at all for me to buy plants it hurts so much to buy expensive makeup <laughs> but that's because buying makeup or buying like new clothes is not really my thing my thing are plants and just caring for them and knowing that they're you know alive and helping them thrive is just really satisfying for me and it has brought me so much joy and And now this is my peperom peperomia hope in which i'm just so in love with it's such a cute plant i love the way it trails down and i'm just so excited to see it grow and get bigger and these are my spider plants so my spider plants i have them in low light and they just do so well they thrive i i tend to neglect them a lot that's why they have all these dead leaves because like i underwater them a lot and they were really full as well so I just need to like really take better care of them because I do feel a little guilty not caring for them enough. And um, yeah, so I just, they're kind of like out of sight, out of mind because they're so high up, but they just make, even though they're high up, they still make my home look so cute. That's why I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take care of them because they're making my home look so pretty. So yeah, I'm watering them and I like to give my plants a really good watering okay so now time for the fun part so right now the boy my boys are asleep my husband is journaling and it's what is it? it's like 9 p.m and i'm about to repot this plant right here that i have what is it called it's i always forget i always confuse the pearls and jade and the pothos and joy but this is actually a pearls pearls and jade and i got this plant from safeway and i got it for six dollars and when i got it it came with like little worms it had a lot of little webs but no spiders just worms i've never seen those types of 
test before in my plants but it was just so gross and then i only had one glove to use so that really sucked <laughs> I'm just mixing the soil so i have regular potting mix and then in the potting mix it already has a perlite that i had put in like a while ago so i have potting soil perlite and then i have orchid bark and then i put some warm castings as well and then i also put what is that called i also put some charcoal so the charcoal keeps the soil not only aerated but it keeps the soil clean and it takes away like any any smell any type of smell that the soil might get over time and then the bark too the bark gives it aeration and then the perlite too so that the soil doesn't get too compact and then the um the roots can breathe as well so i like this mixture of soil i just found out about pumice so after i run out of perlite i'm gonna start buying pumice because I hear that, because the thing about perlite that I've noticed is that it's so light that when you water your plants, that just the perlite like rises up. So I think they say that pumice is more, um, it's just a heavier rock. So it does stay um, in place. So I'm going to be switching over to pumice and see how that goes. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I still have a, quite a lot of perlite left. So... I'm not going to get pumice until I run out of perlite. Okay, so now right here, I'm taking the plant out of the pot. And I love to see this, you guys. I love to see the roots. And then the root, most of the roots are like on one side of the pot, which is really funny. But it's so cute. And then <laughs> I'm so scared to use a hand without the gloves. So I'm just using one hand to try to remove all the soil because I'm so scared of that, you know, worms are come out. But I didn't see any of the little worms. They're so tiny too. And they kind of camouflage with the, with the soil. So I didn't even see them and but I'm still like super <laughs> creeped out by it and like bugs in general so that's what I'm doing right here. I really like the roots from pothos because I like how thick they are. I don't know what it is about roots. I don't like thin roots. I like to see how thick roots are. I don't know. Their roots are really satisfying for me especially to just see roots grow because that means that the foliage is going to get bigger and like yeah, I feel like the roots are like the organs of a plant. So right here, these roots are so beautiful. They're just kind of dirty. They're not rotten or anything like that. The roots are just so healthy and beautiful. And that's the thing about pothos is that they're really resilient that the roots, you can see it in the roots. I have to wash this pot. Okay, so I went ahead and washed the pot and then I'm going to sanitize it with alcohol just to really get rid of any pests or anything like that that it might still have left over so right now i'm just wiping it down with some alcohol and i'm also kind of drying it up and just scrubbing it a little more because there was a you know a little bit of residue left over so yeah it's important to just sanitize your your pots when you're using another pot and stuff like that because like i said roots are like a plant's organs so you want to make sure that where you're gonna put the new the the new organs then the organs you put them in an in a sterilized environment for them because technically right here i'm performing surgery you guys whenever you repot a plant and you like get rid of all the soil and expose the roots you're pretty much giving the plant some surgery so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm performing surgery on my plant and you know it's it's important to follow all these proper procedures as far as sterilizing anything you're gonna cut with like any of those tools and sterilizing the pot that's gonna go in and stuff like that and making sure you're using good clean soil and using you know for me it's really important to use organic soil and just giving trying to give my plants the best I can so that they can thrive and they can be happy so I mean I'm sure Plants still do good with just regular potting mix, but I just feel so much better in my heart using 
organic soil and just better better stuff better um like soil for it and just you know as far as like also warm castings and stuff like that just more natural and trying to mimic their natural environment as much as possible is really important as well for a plant's health that's why you don't see me with any anthuriums yet um i would love in the future to get anthuriums and more plants that are more tropical and just harder to care for plants but i don't feel like i'm there yet one because they're extremely expensive two because i don't have the proper environment yet and i'm not ready to have that kind of environment so i'm not gonna get those plants yet but i do plan in the future to start collecting anthuriums and just more harder to care for plants and more pricier plant pl plants plants in the future but not just yet so right here i'm just putting in the soil and make sure it's nice and packed but not too packed either and then i'm also going to give it some watering and just put it back in this the cute little pot it came with and then i also use a brush right here this brush is just just i don't use it for arts or anything like that it's just for my plants so what i do is i like to brush off any any uh leftover um soil and i just clean the foliage with that and I put it, I'm going to put it back in the cute little pot it came with. I cannot get over how cute this pot is. <laughs> and then I'm going to wa I'm gonna clean the um, the foliage with just with water. That's it. I'm all, all I'm using is water. And then I got this container from Safeway. I think, oh no, I actually got this container from um, the Dollar Tree. And it's for like ketchup or something or oil. But I like to use it because of the little hole it has to water mo a lot of my plants. And so here she is, you guys. She's looking so cute. Look at her. And this is where she is living right now. This is a south facing window. like and subscribe down below and i will be po i look forward to post more plant videos i have so many ideas going on so i love you guys and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys have such a wonderful day and um yeah jesus loves you bye